it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I have a haul video. So I went all over the place this week and I went to, where all did I go? I went to a thrift store, I went to, I, okay, <laughs> I went to Goodwill, I went to like a flea market place, I've talked about them before. They are the people that buy out or actually they, uh, they clean out houses. So they clean out somebody's house and they charge that customer money for them to take all the contents out of their house and then they turn around and sell the items at their flea market a plate, their flea marketplace. So I went there. Um, actually, you know what? That's all. So I went to those places and I have some really interesting things. Okay, so this is something that I thought was going to be really good for me because it's in a little white box, uh, nondescript. We don't know what it is except the fact that it says decorative fish ornaments. I don't know if you can see that, decorative fish ornaments. And it was a dollar. So I gave it a little open here when I was in the store, looked in there and I saw these cute fish ornaments. Okay, they're like blown glass. Then immediately I noticed the little circle hanging from them and that says 56 on it. That stands for Department 56. And if you're not aware, that's a pretty collectible brand. So Department 56 is a Target, I don't know if it's exclusive to Target, but it, they sell it there. And people were going crazy over it, you know, with all like the village houses and all that kind of stuff. So I figured that something like this, being so kind of kishy and obscure, that these would be really valuable. And there's a whole box here with different fish in there. They're all sort of like this with different um, colors. So I paid a dollar for them without looking it up or anything. Got home, did a little research, and they are currently selling for $10. Yeah, so for the whole box of them, probably about 10 bucks. Well, uh, not the best thing to hear. I will hang on to them probably until Christmas, this coming Christmas. I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and list them yet. I think they're gonna have the best chance of selling right at Christmas time for the most, and they're not that large. So yeah, hopefully, I don't know. I feel like they should go for at least 20, not 10. So maybe Christmas time next year, 20, whatever this year is, when that happens, it might be better. All right. So that was at Goodwill. One thing I did get at Goodwill that I am pretty happy about is this guy right here. And you may recognize this. You may not. I don't know. I don't know who you are, but you might. <laughs> this is done in the style of Staffordshire, the Staffordshire dogs but this is not a Staffordshire dog. This is a Portugal piece and there's hand painted flowers all throughout. But when I say it looks like Staffordshire, I mean this body of this dog sitting, looking face like that way. Okay. Look up Staffordshire dog figurines and you'll see stuff like this, not this large. Anyways, this is a Portugal piece and it says so on the bottom here. Does it say Portugal? Yeah, it does. Hand painted Portugal. So that's awesome. I paid $2 for this. I think that's a really good price for what it is, the size and everything. Uh, online, something like this would go for between $20, $30. I think in the booth is going to be where I sell this and it's gonna go for about 15 or so. And like I said, I paid $2, so that's a really good uh, flip, I believe. So this nice hand painted Portugal dog awesome the last thing that i picked up at that same goodwill on that trip was this interesting picture frame and i haven't bought a picture frame in a while well i say that but i just did a couple about a month ago well that was a while ago that was a bashan a bashan dog picture frame this one is some really cute or really cool giraffe or um zebras and this is a it says popular imports I was thinking Pier 1, but it says Popular Imports 2000, made in China. This originally retailed for $30, so it's really cool. Uh, it has some weight to it, but it's in really great shape here. There are no issues. I was very sure to check there was no issues on any of these ears anywhere, but it's a great picture frame, and I will probably sell this in the booth for about uh, somewhere between $12 and $15. I think that's a good price for a frame like this really awesome piece here so that'll be cool online it would probably I haven't looked this up but that same frame online 
could probably go for about $30. So that's just the difference between a booth and online. Expect a little bit lower prices in a booth, but you're, then again, you're not doing all the extra legwork of listing it and shipping it and all that. Okay, so I then went to the flea marketplace and I haven't been there in like, oh gosh, almost over a month. And every time I was about to go, Barb, she would go. And then I'm like, well, I guess I'm not gonna go there because you know, we kind of have a similar eye, so there's no sense in me going right after she does. So I finally went this week, and I even asked her if she was going to go, and she said no. She had something else to do. But um, I went ahead and went, and I think I did pretty good. So I grabbed these here. I did it more of an, on an impulse. It's a stack of these placemats. And this pattern is very, very close. It's not the same. It's very close to... Uh, false graph Yorktown so you may be familiar with that it was very popular in the I believe 70s 80s maybe even 90s I think it had a pretty long run uh, and people collect it all over the place the false graph Yorktown and it's it's in like this kind of a beigey cream color with the blue flowers okay this is not that it's probably more or less a knockoff um, but it was only $2 for the whole stack here. And I think that this is gonna be a great item to sell in the booth. I do have some Yorktown uh, serving pieces and things like that. And I'll just set this right next to it because it does complement the set very well. And it's a good set. I did not count how many are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wow, very good. So um, yeah, I may actually split them up into two sets of six or price them individually. We'll see. One thing I did grab is this neat drink carrier. This was also at the flea market. Everything going forward is that flea marketplace. I recognize this from sitting there for a very long time and I wish that I could just buy the drink carrier. Now it had glasses in it for the longest of time and I didn't want the glasses. They were a mix match set. They weren't that great, but I wanted this. So luckily they finally got the sense to sell just this. So I bought this for $3. It's not the cheapest, but I do think something like this will really elevate any set of eight drinking glasses that you have in a booth environment, more so in this case. But it's a really cool brass with these black, and it's kind of like wrapped on this rubbery material here around the handles. So for $3, I thought it was worth it to pick it up. And then whenever I come across this set of drinking glasses, you know, I have to get eight of them, but once I have a set of eight really kind of Mm, sort of interesting glasses. This will help it out a lot in making it sell. Plus it's just easier to carry it up to the register, huh? So that's cool. One thing that I am really excited about picking up is this awesome piece here. And I think it is just so cool. It is a nautical mid-century turquoise blue. And it has all of the, it's a metal tray, by the way. It's a metal tray and it has all of these little nautical animal, um, sea creatures on it it's so cool you can see that really neat definitely mid-century and I think that this will sell in the booth um, actually I know it will that'll be so cool oh my gosh people are gonna love that I hope I do I paid two dollars for it um, so it, it, it fits a couple different criteria marks here it is mid-century it's turquoise, that helps, always. Um, and it is nautical. So those three things together, I think are going to make this piece sell for about $12, 12 to 15, 12, $12 in the booth. And I think this will go in the, maybe the 50s booth, but I'm not sure, I cannot decide. I do have like a little bit of a nautical section set up in booth number one. I keep saying booth number one, but it's actually booth number 27 in the mall, but it's my booth number one, the first booth that I got. So I think that I would put this below all like my conch shells and things like that and set them on there and it will look really cool. So that'll sell, I believe, yeah, for $12 really easily. This here, this is the other thing that I picked up from the flea market and it is really neat. And again, another impulse thing. I had to grab it though. Look at this. Okay, so I immediately looked in this box. It's in a box still, by the way. And I was thinking, okay, another set of candlestick holders. I, I've been buying a lot of those lately and I don't really want more necessarily. Oh, look, look down, see back there? 
They look a lot like those wood turned candle things that I bought at Home Goods like four years ago. Okay, this is not a candlestick holder. It is a pepper mill or a salt grinder. Is that how you say that? Pepper mill salt grinder. It's a salt grinder or a pepper mill. Salt mill pepper grinder. I guess it could be either way. I don't know. Anyway, this is made by Highmark Japan. That was another reason I grabbed it because I have heard of Highmark uh, and it says Japan on it. So, and the fact, look at this wood. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. And it's in this box like that, still in plastic. This was $2, $2. Look how big this thing is. That's a lot of salt. So if you are on a low salt intake diet, you do not need these, but they are so cool. Wow, that is like, that you could hurt somebody with this thing. So that is awesome. Anyway, how much does this go for? Um, I have seen smaller ones on eBay sell for, ten, the 10 inch size, sell for about $15. This size, I am looking for at least $20, okay? And then with shipping and all that, it's probably like a $28 to $30 set right here. And I think they'll sell for that pretty darn easily. Great set. Okay, I, yeah, I, didn't, I did not forget. Two things extra that I bought. Now, how am I gonna show you this? Well, let me tell you what I got. So I bought this mirror and the, the back story on the mirror is, I went to an auction about a year ago and they held up this really awesome tropical mirror. Picture it, Sicily, 19, no. So there's this mirror, okay? And it has this pink flamingo on it with like these greenery around it. You might've seen something like this before. Okay, it sold at that auction for about $75. And I was like, oh no. You know, I was so upset because I was thinking, oh, it's that Kish stuff. Nobody wants that at these auctions. Yeah. No, it went for a lot of money and I was so upset about it. Well, more so that I was just mad that people, other people found value in it. That's, that's what I'm saying. Um, okay, and then bring us up to more recently here. Barb sent me a photo about last week and said, look what I found, okay? And it was a mirror, just like what I missed. Turns out she bought her mirror for 25, 25 or $30. The mirror itself, I'm gonna show you, okay? Just wait. The mirror itself sells for between 75, like it did in the auction, and 150, okay? Online, it, you could expect the higher amount there of 150. So the price she paid was good, yeah, it was. Except I went to that flea market place and I found my own mirror for $8. Wow, wow. So I am going to keep it. Let me tell you that first off, just in case you want to get like really attached to it. I don't want you to be attached to it, but you can be excited for me, right? Okay, good. So let me grab the mirror and you may think this is just so tacky and gaudy, but look at that. Look at it. Look at the guy there. He is standing in a puddle. Isn't that so cute? Look at that. My, my. This is a really interesting, not, uh, I was going to say mid-century. No, it's from the early 2000s, probably somewhere between 1999 and 2002. And it's actually a really interesting advertising piece, if you want to look at it that way. It is branded with a VH1 stamp on there. And I did pay $10 for this, okay? If you bought one of these today, you would spend at least $20 on it for a new one. And I have been looking for a lava lamp, to be honest. I think it would look so cool in our bedroom. I know it does not match the uh, style of our bedroom, which has the, the 1940s waterfall furniture or the, the tropical vibe. Ooh, that picture could go good in that tropical, well, no. Um, but I have been wanting a lava lamp because whenever I was younger, I had a lava lamp uh, in my room and I just kind of think it's a really cool thing, real groovy. But um, yeah, you know, it could just hang out here in the, in the kitchen too, but it is just a really cool thing. I paid $10 for it, but that's a lot. That's enough, that's enough talking about uh, the lava lamp. Uh, yeah, I did, I bought the lava lamp. I should have maybe asked for somebody off, 
I have I have seen the lava lamps go for less than ten dollars at auction, but I'm just kind of in the right place, right time mentality of paying ten dollars because I know that a new one sells for ten dollars and or twenty dollars. Okay, so yeah, I'm yakking about mm, just this stuff. So, anyways, uh, okay. You know what? Do you want to see Stella? Hey, Stella, come on, come here. Everybody's probably wondering how she, how she's doing. She's doing real great. Oh boy, Stella. Do you want to get up on the table and show your dance? <laughs> okay, let's get you up on the table. Whoa. Here, I'm gonna stand up with you. There you are. I trimmed up her little ear hair. She looks kind of silly. Oh, Stella. Don't you look precious? Look up on the screen so they can see you. Oh my goodness. Well, there she is, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.